Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle, if you're new here. I am so excited because I just wanna sit down and chat with you guys. You guys have asked me a lot of questions on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Danielle Carolyn. Um, it's a good time over there. I'm more active on there. Obviously YouTube, I post twice a week, but Instagram, it's like every day on my stories and stuff. So definitely go over there. I'm channeling my inner Blair Waldorf. I just don't know why. I just wanted to get my hair out of my face. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do an OG Q&A. We're just gonna chit chat. I'm excited to answer y'all's questions because we do Q&As a lot on Gals on the Go, our podcast, but obviously I have a co-host. And so I feel like there's times where there's questions directly to me. So I wanna like do that. I don't know. And like, you guys are always DMing me questions and I try to get to them, but I think it's just time and I'm talking with my hands a lot. Question number one, advice for staying independent while in a relationship. I don't say this a lot, but I consider myself really good at this. Like I, I really do, I try. Obviously I'm not perfect and there's definitely times in my life where I'm focused on more of my relationship rather than my friends, vice versa. That's just like the natural flow of life. Um, Ryan and I are coming up on three years on March 2nd, which is so not so. I cannot believe that. Um, so obviously we've learned kind of our rhythm and we're both very, very independent people. And I was just talking to my therapist about it this week. It's, it's very important to have, for me, to have that sense of sisterhood. And for him, it's really important for him to have that sense of brotherhood. So I feel like when we do go and hang out with our friends and stuff and get fueled up from that, we really enjoy our time a lot more when we're together because it's not like, oh, like, you know, we date so we have to see each other every day or, oh, we date so we should go on a, like, go do this together. You know, it it should be more of like, I wanna see this person, you know? And obviously it's not like a day to day and it's, it's not like you have the butterflies for the rest of your life, you know? Or maybe you do, I don't know, but it's just not as like, you, when you first start dating someone, I get it, like, you just wanna be with them all the time. And so, and that's so normal, I feel like, but then you start to get in a rhythm. And for me, like, I, like I was saying, I just get so excited to see him when I do have like my time alone. We typically will see each other throughout the week, but not as much and obviously talk every day. And then on the weekends, um, obviously because I work for myself, I work from home. He works very long hours throughout the week. Um, the weekends are definitely for us. So I try to see my girlfriends on the weekdays and then also on the weekends as well. And we'll like all come together. But I definitely try to be intentional about when I'm planning what. And I also just try to be intentional. Like, oh, like I'm doing this with Ryan on these three days. Let me like see what my girlfriends are up to. Or maybe not even that. Maybe I just need some me time. You know, it's just kind of feeling out what's best. How's the workout journey been going? There's a lot of questions about my workout journey. It's just begun, honestly. Um, I know I already talked about Gals on the Go, but we definitely talk a lot about it on there. Um, I don't know why, I guess because it's longer form content. It's like an hour long. I just feel really comfortable to just spew out. But I have mentioned in my vlogs as well that I was a spin instructor my junior year of college and then the pandemic happened and then I just didn't spin again. Well, I spun again, but I wasn't an instructor again. And so it, and like I've spun in the last year, but it's just not the same. Like I honestly have gotten out of shape. I like, I was literally on a podium spinning and talking at the same time. Like I, I don't, I mean, I don't wanna say I can't, I really need to not say that to myself, but I just, I don't think I'm in that, sh I know I'm not in that shape. Like I was in the best shape I ever was. And um, now a lot of, I have a lot of anxiety about workouts in specific cardio driven workouts i've opened up about this before like i i just get really nervous it's more of like a health anxiety thing like i think i'm like so scared that my heart's gonna beat too fast um and i'm really working through it i go to therapy um and so for me to kind of get back into working out i thought the best thing was to start working with a personal trainer because she knows everything I'm going through. We had a whole meeting and I opened up to her. She's so sweet. Her name's Jane Simmons here in New York City. And right now we're training twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays, and it's so much fun. Wednesdays, it's her and I alone. And then on Fridays, it's actually with Katie Bellotti who introduced me to Jane. She's another YouTuber. We've known each other for years. And so it's so fun to do Friday training sessions. Um, and it keeps me super motivated and I just feel very comfortable because Jane knows like how I feel. She's like, okay, do you wanna take a break? You know, like catch your breath. I wake up and I'm really excited to go work out and for the longest time, I haven't felt like that. So that makes me really happy. And on the days that I do go and work out, I just notice an overall up in my mood. Like I just feel so good and it just feels good to know I'm doing something for my body. This is definitely um, a different workout than I'm used to. We're using a lot of weights. Um, whereas I'm used to like just spinning 
like literally that's all I did and we did little weights which I love and I would love to get back to that like I'd still love to be a spin instructor again like I light up when I think about it and I talk about it to people like I, I like to think I threw a party in there like I, I loved the music I played everyone had so much fun when they came in like it was just seriously such a blast so I hope I get to that point um but like even now like when I do cardio definitely kind of triggers me a little bit like I get a little panicky just because but that's normal when you're doing cardio so I'm just working through it um that was a long-winded answer but I felt like it, it needed to happen do you ever sleep at Ryan's place does he ever sleep at yours <laughs> people always ask me this like do you guys have sleepovers yes we do um we are 23 years old uh we do I live alone, he has a few roommates, so naturally um, he sleeps here more of the time. We don't have sleepovers all the time, typically just on the weekends, um, maybe like once during the weekday, but like he likes to wake up in his bed, I like to wake up in my bed, so that's kind of that, but um, I think I've slept at his like, I can count on my hand how many times I've slept there, but it's because we live so close or we'll like... I don't know, like, I think he li like he likes coming here, it's, it's just not, like, I don't know, if any of you are in relationships, like, when one of them lives alone, you just tend to go there more, but I'm always, like, down to sleep over there, too, obviously. Danielle, your hair looks so good, what do you ask for? My, my roots are brownish, thank you. I'm trying out this new hair vibe, um, I was just, I decided to let my roots grow out, and we did a, um, root smudge I believe is what it's called and so we just went for a darker root because then like as it grows it just looks good so she I think she added some sort of glaze up here to kind of blend it so it's because I hate it I just hate the look of grown out blonde with the brown no, it's not to say I'll not go super blonde up top again for the summer because I do like being blonde but I feel like my hair does look a lot healthier this way and so we still like lighten up the bottoms a little bit and we do two front money pieces. I love the blonde pieces in the front. I think it's super flattering. It really opens up your face. So that's what I get. Tips for making friends post-grad. How has it been for you? So I am so thankful that when I moved here, I knew a fair amount of people. I knew friends from like sleepaway camp, from a high school, from college, um, influencing obviously, like so many of my YouTube friends, new friends that I've made here um, that are influencers in New York City, just going to these events, and they've become really good friends that I see often. Um, but recently I've been really struggling with it, and it's, I don't know, sometimes I don't like to talk about it because it's like, I don't know, because I get sad, but also I do want to open up about it because it's something I've dealt with in every chapter of my life and I just have to like get myself back to that confidence again. So obviously I'm so thankful I have Ryan, I have Brooke, I have Margo, Margo, uh, Katie, uh, oh my gosh, I'm missing names. I've become really close with Kelly recently. I have my two best friends from home, Mary, Stephen, and Morgan here. I've made so many amazing friends here. However, the problem I'm finding is they're not all like necessarily friends with each other, which is normal, you know? And um, it's a lot of, like a lot of them are really good friendships. Like when I'm with them, we have really good combo. I've known a lot of these people for years, but I came in and a lot of these people were already here. So they have their own like friend groups. Thankfully, thankfully, I've never dealt with any clickiness. Everyone's always so sweet. Like people will invite me to go hang out with them in their friend group. And it's really, really fun. And I put myself out there and do it. However, I can't lie. I miss senior year of college when, you know, it was like me and my friends, Ryan and his friends, we were all friends, it was a whole big group. And also in high school, it was the same thing. But I remind myself, okay, freshman year of high school, I didn't know anyone, I just joined, made friends. By the time I graduated senior year, I had a great group of friends. Had to start over, freshman year of college, clean slate, and thought I wasn't gonna make it through. I really was like, I'm not gonna find my group. Senior year of college, I left with the best friend group ever. So now we're starting over again, and that's completely okay. And I think my first, you know, three, four months here, I was just like, buzz, 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 buzz. And now I'm like really yearning for that, like, sisterhood, or just not even sisterhood, just like that true, like, hey, like, let's all go over to someone's house and watch a movie, or like, just more wholesome stuff like I don't want to always have to be like let's go to dinner you know and I will say in New York that's just popular like even if it is a really good friend like there's just so many good restaurants here that's something to do I'm not saying that 
but I am definitely yearning for that. Like, like when it comes to the week, like the weekdays I feel like are so full. I'm getting to see so many of my friends, so many people, but then by the time it comes to the weekend, I'm kind of like in this limbo of like, who do I hang out with? It's kind of weird and everyone's really kind. I've been invited to things obviously, but it's not like I have my group. I'm just kind of a part of others, which I'm again, so grateful and I really do have fun. But obviously sometimes you feel like you're imposing or you feel like maybe, I don't know, that they're not gonna be your best friends ever. And so I'm definitely dealing with that a little bit right now. And I mean, if that's my problem, then that's, you know, I'm thankful, like it's a great problem to have. Um, it's just gonna take some time. Like I talked to my therapist about it. She's like, how long have you lived in New York? And I was like six months and she's like, you went to college for four years and by the time you graduate is when you like have that group. So like, I know it takes time. Um, I just, I just miss it. I want it. And, um, so it's, I don't know. Sorry. I kind of answered your question. Kind of not. I think it's just putting yourself out there. Like whenever I like can tell I truly connect with someone, I'm like, Hey you, let's like hang out again. And if obviously if they're down, then they probably felt that same connection. Um, so I think it's just putting yourself out there, putting yourself in situations where you might not know many people, that, but then you might bond. Like I've gotten girls numbers, that sounds funny, in the last uh, few months because I'm like, wait, we're so similar. And then we've hung out again, or maybe we didn't hang out again. So it's kind of just like shooting your shot. It's literally dating, but we got this guys. So many questions asking if I like Brooke's boyfriend. I love him. He is so funny. He has the best like dry humor. He makes me laugh um, and he's so nice and he's so amazing to her. So we love so many questions also about if Ryan and I are going to move in together. Um, I think I think I decided that I'm going to renew my lease here um, given that they don't raise my rent anymore. Um, Cause I just obviously like, I, why would I? Like I have everything in perfect place. I literally worked with Sierra, the interior designer. I'm so, so happy with it. Um, so I think I'm gonna stay here. I think he's staying where he is. Um, so that's really nice. Potentially the next place we'd move would be together. I don't really know. I'm just kind of saying that off the cuff. It's not like him and I have really, really said it, but I mean, that's definitely in the future. We'd have to get two bedrooms though, if he's still working from home. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now about that. How do you find ways to make date nights fun after being together for a while? I think just like, like actually planning dates because we went through this rut for a little bit, like when we first moved here, honest, or not right when we first moved here, but like a little bit after and was like, you know, so tired after work. So let's just like watch a movie and chill, which is so fun. But then it was just kind of like hitting this lull of like, we gotta have some excitement. So we've been trying to like plan dates and be like, like Ryan will text me, hey, we have dinner tonight at 8 p.m. And like, you get excited, you know, like you're going on a date. I think still calling things dates, not just like, hey, I wanna go grab some food, you know, which is uh, so fun to do too. But like being like, let's go on a date um, and just being like really intentional about it, I think. And also what I was saying earlier about um, just like when you are together, like make it really count and maybe not be together as much if that's, you know, gonna help your relationship. I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, everyone's different. Some people like to be together every day. Some people, I, I don't know. I don't know. What's been the most helpful for the anxiety you've been dealing with? Um, I did recently cut out caffeine. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not drinking caffeine ever again, because, like, we all know I love coffee. But, like, this cup right here is decaf because I just love the taste of coffee in the morning. Um, but you know, some days it was great when I had caffeine and it hit me right. But then other days it really hit me like really wrong. So I'm cutting out caffeine for now. Um, but a really big thing has been breathing because as you guys can see, like even now, like I get like short of breath sometimes because I, you know, just, I'm talking really fast. I'm getting really excited or I'll get overwhelmed. So really tapping into my breath. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I really try and take some deep breaths. the straw breath is really important and for working out because working out obviously has been really helping with my mental health because so much of my anxiety was about working out that that I'm finally doing it I think is breaking that barrier but I put this on my Instagram story recently I'm learning the importance of like when you're supposed to inhale and when you're supposed to exhale for working out that has made such a difference for me like it depends on each workout like for deadlifts i inhale as i'm going down i exhale as i bring it up but it depends on each workout so she'll tell me 
Um, but that has really helped me with working out. It keeps your body like all one unit and it like stops me from holding my breath or like getting really anxious or whatever it is. So breathing has been really, really helpful as well. How to make the man chase you and not you chase him. <laughs> this is something I had to learn growing up. Like I would always be like, boys chase me, boys chase me, you know? One of the biggest things I learned and I'm still learning is just like don't change your plans or don't change your vibe for a guy um, because they can tell. And maybe they can't tell exactly what it is, but they get this vibe. Like I've always tried to like, if I have plans for someone else to do something, I'm not gonna cancel on that because a boy asked me on a date or whatever. Like you say, no, I've got, you know, this thing with my girlfriends tonight, but I'd love to reschedule for another day. Um, not necessarily like lying and be like, oh, I'm busy tonight, but you're actually not. But I think just like staying true to you and being, you know, like I remember when Ryan and I first started dating, he'd like want to hang out and I'd be like, oh no, I have Orange Theory tomorrow morning. Like I can't be up late tonight. And I think he was like, damn, like she's like on it, you know? Um, I don't know. I'm just saying that maybe he didn't think that, but just saying really, really true to you, not changing for anybody. And they're really attracted to that. Like, holy shit, like this girl. All right, so I think that is all the questions that I'm gonna answer for today. I feel like it wasn't a lot of questions, but I got really deep into each one. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I always enjoy opening up to you guys about what I'm going through um, because I know that it, it just could help maybe even one person or just not even help, just like make you feel not alone. Um, that's something that I love about social media because you realize you're not alone in everything. So hope you guys feel that way. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below to be notified every time I post. And I'll see you guys very, very soon for my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>